Hello, my name is Sabra, and thank you for tuning in to today's daily devotional brought to you by video daily devotional brought to you by Main Street. And I'm so thankful that, you know, as we're going to walk through Psalms, we're landing in Psalm 23 for the rest of this week and probably next week. Because how could you do Psalm 23 too? all in one day. There's no way. So I'm just going to read the first part of it where it says, he makes me lie down in green pastures. And, you know, David himself was a shepherd. So he understood, you know, offering his sheep such peace that even in the midst of turmoil, the sheep could be still because they, their eye, their, their sense of peace, their sense of protection was not on their surroundings, but their sense of peace came from their shepherd, came from who was overseeing them. And so to the place that they could sleep during storms, they could find that quiet place, even in the midst of, you know, hearing their attacker coming. You know, they weren't stirred, they weren't shaken, they weren't moved, they were stilled. And to this place that they could lie down. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't know what causes stillness in your soul. You know, I don't know what brings you a sense of peace that overcomes anxiety, that overcomes, you know, fearing things that the world might bring to you, you know, hearing the lines, whatever it may be, what it brings you to that place of stillness, that you can lie down and you can have a great night's sleep, that even if you're awakened in the middle of the night, you know, it's a still place. And I have, there's no greater resource, there's no greater peace that you and I can have than having Jesus as our source of peace. There's many other things that will offer you that source, but Jesus is this, the source that can be your blanket of peace that goes with you in the midst of turmoil that no matter what happens, he's right there offering you peace. And you know, the amazing thing about it is, is he asks us to seek him. He asks us to enjoy him. He asks us to love him, but he isn't asking us to bring us our own peace. You know, he knows that life is going to offer you and me some situations we'd rather not be in. And some of it's what we do. Some of it's brought on to us by unusual circumstances of life. And, but there's no greater resource than we have than Jesus being our source. Because he, sa- he himself says he is our peace. And so I think it comes from turning our focus off of what we're seeing the things that bring us anxiety, the things that, you know, can disturb our soul to the place that we can't sleep, place that we can't find no rest, to allowing that space to be the space that we turn towards him and saying, okay, God, I don't have it. Being vulnerable enough to admit this is where you're at. But maybe, maybe it is because you needed to be brought to this place to say, okay, because I don't have peace, and because I've looked other places for it, Lord, I'm inviting you to be that, that peace in my life. And then when your mind starts looking at situations again, you have to continue to bring it back and admitting your need, you know, that, yes, you're my shepherd. Remember, the Lord is our shepherd. He's the Lord of our life. <sighs> He's our peace. Be, be blessed, just resting, you know, allowing yourself to rest in his peace today.